What's up everybody? Welcome to episode 6 of the Yo Corey G Show. I gotta tell ya, I'm having a blast answering these questions from people all over the world. You guys have been snapping me, tweeting me, Facebook, everything. It's been cool to see, you know, the answers come through the airwaves. Everybody kind of see and get the feedback and I'm just really enjoying myself. So keep the questions coming and I'm ready to get to episode 6 right now. Yo, Corey G, our first question here is from Dakota. Dakota says he might need surgery on his right shoulder. Coming off of a bodybuilding show, what would you recommend training-wise and anabolic fasting-wise to ensure he doesn't blow up? Hey, what's up, Dakota? First off, man, I hope you a speedy recovery. Part of the game of the iron is you're going to battle injuries from time to time. You know, um, it sucks. I, I know. I've had minor injuries, knock on wood. I haven't had anything I've actually needed surgery on. But I've been in the game 20 years, and I'll tell you, uh, I met Frank Zane a couple different times, and Frank Zane, 70 years old. I said, Frank, tell me what um, people, you know, when they ask you about training heavy when you were younger, now you're 70, how do you feel? And he said, look, dude, here's the deal. I've looked pretty good my whole life. I've had abs. Uh, I've always people have aspired to look like me. I'm 70. Do I hurt? Yeah, I hurt. But guess what? The guy that sits on the couch that doesn't train, that was afraid to be hurt in the gym, he fucking hurts too. But he don't look good. <laughs> so here's the deal. You're going to battle injuries in the game. I call it the iron game, charge it to the game. But the lifestyle that we live, in my opinion, is more fulfilled because we, we take care of ourselves. We're strong. We're trying to make ourselves better. So look, are we going to hurt from 600-pound squats? I'm trying to get a 600-pound squat, so I'm going to go throw it out there. Yes, probably a little bit. But at the end of the day, the way that I feel when I get up every morning, the way I operate, and the way I feel at almost 40 years old still, shit, man, I ain't worried about it. It's just part of it. Dakota, back to your question, what I would tell you to do. As you're recovering on this shoulder injury, two things. You need to become like a maniac with your posterior chain and your core because you can lunge, because you can do hamstrings, quads, calves, lower at Anything that you can do will be amazing. Secondary, when your shoulder is clear, invest into a Bandel bar or a PVC and work on that uh, stability. I mean, Louis Simmons, I think, had his shoulder replaced and benched 300 pounds like 10, 10 weeks later or something crazy like that by using the bamboo bar. So check into those things. Thanks for the question and hope to speed recovery. Yo, Corey G. We have a few questions here from Denzel. Denzel is from Manila. He is wondering what kind of meal plan you are on nowadays. He is also wondering what does he do when he feels under-recovered from squatting and lunging, aside from BCAAs. And he is also wondering when max effort is going to ship to Manila. My man Denzel from Manila. Thriller in Manila. I love it. I love when the international guys come through with some great questions and they're all in. It, there's just a feeling of that it just goes across the world with fitness and what we're doing and I, I just dig it. So Denzel, thanks for the thanks for the question, brother. So Denzel's asking, you know, he's getting hungry on his anabolic fasting between lunch and dinner. For you guys that are on CoreyGFitness.com, Denzel, you gotta make sure that you're eating enough vegetables. You gotta make sure that you're eating enough fats. Go back and watch the carb video on the website. I think that'll be huge for you. Also, obviously Max Effort Muscle supplements are dropping. The branch chain has 10 grams of branch chain plus 5 grams of glutamine. You can use that post-workout and before bed. That will help you also gain some size, feeding those muscles. Um, I, will we ship to Manila? Absolutely. You want to be the pioneer, you say, in your question? We got you. So go on the website and look, if, we, if there's for some reason um, a problem, email the guys. Jacob and Jake will get that thing out to you. We're excited to have you be the pioneer for the supplement company out there. Um, make sure at the end of the day that you're not skimping on your meals. The programs that we follow tax the body. You have to eat the quality food that we talk about. Denzel, I love to see your progress. Keep the pictures coming. Appreciate you. Yo, Corey G, our next question here is from Tyler. Tyler is wondering what's the best way to bulk or gain lean weight? 
Tyler, so if I had even a quarter for every time somebody asked that question, I would be super rich because everybody wants to bulk and stay lean. And so what I'll tell you is the amount of muscle you can put on drug free in a year, even when your diet, your training, your supplements are on point, I mean is really five to 10 pounds of lean tissue, highest level. It's time involved in the gym. And I'll tell you, over time, the body looks different. Like the first time I competed at 174 pounds, and the way I look at 174 pounds now is like a whole different person. So you gotta go through the process. Heavy, heavy. And I don't I don't even preach like the huge get bulk thing anymore. I weighed 240, I was fat, like it was not good, right? So, you know, having your body fat elevate a hair, I don't think is terrible but keeping it in check. That's why anabolic fasting principles are so good. We've got the new lean bulking thing with uh, so get, uh, get Stack 16 coming out. And I would just tell you that keep your body fat in check. Get it to where you feel durable, you can train heavy, but always know that you can dial it in if you need to, and I think that's key. So, if you have any more questions, Tyler, come on the site, ask me them, but get Stack 16, making sure that you're taking your branch chains post-workout, before bed, quality foods, and you will get the result, but it's time involved. Compound effect. Over years, you'll put it together. You just got to be consistent. Yo, Corey G, your next question here is from Sam. Sam is wondering if you think it'll be safe to train Get Stack 16 without a spotter, with all the heavy sets, of course. Hey, what's up, Sam? This is a question I haven't had very often. Well, I guess I have had it, but usually it's about squatting. So you're asking, you know, how can I do all these heavy sets if I work out by myself? Here's what you gotta do. Be very strategic in your safety. I train by myself quite a bit. Obviously I have a crew at Old School, but at my house, at other gyms, when I travel, I'm not scared to dump a fucking barbell. And you can't be either. And if you haven't done it, you need to walk outside the cage and, and know what it feels like to be by yourself and have to get out from a weight. Now, when you're in a squat, back squat, just throw it off your back and walk away. If you're in a front squat, just throw it in front of you. The bench is a little trickier. Um, Zach does a good job of setting up the spotters, so if you can't get it, you just dump it on, onto the rack. Just take your time and, and also don't be scared to ask somebody to spot you. Now what I'll tell you is, most people don't know how to spot, especially a bench press. So you very simply tell the guy, look, I'm gonna take it off by myself, unless you know he can actually lift off for you. Don't touch the bar unless I say something. And when I say something, don't just help me work through it, just fucking grab the barbell. So if you're benching and it ain't happening, you don't wanna blow out a damn rotator cuff, just say, look man, grab the barbell, all right? On a squat, you know, the whole like hug you underneath your chest, like spotting will work if somebody knows what they're doing. But I would say most people don't know so I would just dump the fucking barbell. It's better to dump it on the ground than to dump it in the rack just because it's probably gonna bend the bar and then your rec center or whatever is probably gonna be pissed at you. If they're pissed at you because you dropped the weight, you just tell them, look, I thought I could get it. You know, apologize after. So I would say be strategic in your safety. We want you to lift safe, but also we want you to get them gains. So I heard you want to be on the hashtag Yo Corey G Show. Here's how it happens. Hit me with a video on Twitter. Make sure you use the hashtag. Hit me with a DM on Snapchat. You can throw me a video on Facebook. However, get to me. Hashtag Yo Corey G. I love to answer your fitness questions. I'm having a blast. And for all your supplement needs, make sure you support us at MaxEffortMuscle.com.